Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin and I'm back with another study with me video. It is spring break and I finally found some motivation to study so I made this video for you guys. As you guys know, I'm using the iPad Air 3rd generation, 64 gigabytes and the first generation Apple Pencil to do all of these notes today. So for the first app, we are going to be using Notability, and this is where I keep things like my textbooks that I annotate, and also my lecture notes from class before I recopy them. Um, I also record the audio in class, so this is where my lecture notes and my audio is from my lectures. Then in GoodNotes, I recopy my lecture notes and do like my final drafts of my notes. Um, I use the fountain pen in the 0.45 setting if you guys were wondering I know you guys always want to know in this video I will also be using Quizlet um, this is where I make flashcards it has a good study system so it's a good app to use so this is my desk setup at home. I have a half-eaten banana, please excuse that. So while I'm studying today, I'm going to be listening to my oldies playlist on Spotify. You guys know that the link is in the description and thank you for letting me know that you guys have been loving it. Um, I have some other playlists if you wanna check them out as well. So the first thing that I'm doing today is I'm answering the learning objectives from my animal behavior class. Basically the professor gives us learning objectives that go along with the lectures every week and I'm trying to keep up with that this semester. I also discussed the best way to do these with him for like the best um, educational gain. It's pretty late right now, so sorry if that doesn't make sense. Basically what I decided to do is refer to both my lecture notes and my reading notes and combine the two to get the best and fullest answer possible for each learning objective. Um, I didn't really know how to integrate my class notes and my book notes together, so the best way I decided to do this was to do it with the learning objectives, and I think that it's a really, really good way to integrate the both of them. So I don't finish the learning objectives today, but I just work on them a little as you guys see. So the next thing I'm going to do is continue my chapter 7 reading notes for animal behavior. So I already annotated the textbook in Notability and now I'm using good notes to go back and rewrite what I annotated. I know you guys usually compliment my handwriting but please um, disregard it here because this is my only sloppy notebook in good notes because I really just want to get through the book notes I don't want to try and make it neat or anything um, because it's more about the information right here um, I'm not too stressed about making it neat for the reading notes so a tip that I got from my professor is to try and rewrite the reading notes in your own words um, I did not do that today because I literally it's so hard for me to do and I didn't really have the time or the willpower to do it I try to do it Sometimes I just didn't feel like it today. So now, sticking with animal behavior, I'm going to take my chapter 9 book notes because I already annotated chapter 9 as well and I want to get caught up on the notes part. So I'm just doing the same thing. Um, I accidentally wrote chapter 10, please ignore that, I fixed it. Um, I'm just going through and rewriting what I annotated. I don't keep too much of the video from annotating this in here because I thought it would be a pretty long segment of just me writing. Thank you. 
So next, I was going to make um, animal behavior flashcards with this app called Verbatim that I just got. A subscriber recommended it to me and I really appreciate it. I was going to use it, I was testing it out, but I decided that I was just gonna make my flashcards on Quizlet because this is all like, I could type it out faster than handwriting it. So I'm gonna use Verbatim for my organic chemistry rather than my animal behavior, just so I can keep my organic chemistry flashcards on my iPad along with my animal behavior flashcards instead of hand making them. So I decided to use Quizlet for animal behavior, which is what I usually do anyway. If you guys haven't used Quizlet, I highly recommend it. The only downside is that you can't handwrite flashcards. Um, I definitely would upgrade if you could. I'm trying to be more mindful about making flashcards. If anyone has tips for making them better and more efficient, let me know in the comments below. So I practiced those few flashcards, I didn't make many, and now I'm going back to reading and annotating. Um, I just wanted to get one more chapter out of the way, so I'm pretty much all the way caught up with my readings. So like I said, I do this in Notability, but I haven't imported this yet, so I wanted to show you guys how I import my textbooks. So basically there was a free PDF for my animal behavior textbook online, and I'm just airdropping this to my iPad, a whole textbook. It asks me where I want to import it to. I say Notability, create new note, and then I title it the chapter, like the specific chapter that I'm importing. So this is chapter 10. Then I make sure it's in my animal behavior readings. And then you have to decide what pages to import. So I deselect it all, and then I went and found chapter 10 by looking at the page thumbnails, and then just imported that. And now I'm just crossing out the sections that I don't need to read that he tells us like just don't read at all. And then I begin highlighting and annotating my textbooks. So now that I got that done, I'm not taking any more notes. I'm literally just going to move on to organic chemistry because I'm sort of getting tired at this point. It has been a handful of hours. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but it has been. So I'm just writing out my, rewriting my lecture notes for organic chemistry. And um, this is a little bit of a tedious pro process for me, as you guys know, because I like to rewrite them pretty neat. Um, surprisingly, this is me going fast and not being the neatest. But um, I know some of you guys say that I shouldn't be like really tedious about my notes, but it makes it bearable for me. I like the product. I like, it, it just makes it more enjoyable for me to make them neat. So um, I don't know. That's just my stance on that. So yeah, I just do this and then I'm all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys with all of my heart. I'm sorry if I'm a little groggy in this voiceover. I'm just so tired. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you got to the end of the video. And I will see you guys next week in another video. I love you all so much. And Apollo says hi and he loves you too. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.